Hi, today I want to introduce Exercise Kid for beginners. It will include the exercises for typing and reading for the lessons 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, of the beginners bootcamp. So, give it a try. You should read and type uh, the following sentences in Ukrainian alphabet. Let's get down to the examples. The first one is the word where, which in Ukrainian the. Also note uh, that in Ukrainian there are no such words as is or are, and we actually get around without them. So try to type uh, these uh, phrases in Ukrainian which include the alphabet of the previous five lessons. So, first one is de діти, de діти. Where are the kids? The second one is de sik, de sik. Where is juice? The third one is de sin, de sin. Where is the sun? Let's get down to another uh, example. The PIN code. The PIN code. Where is PIN code? The sink. The sink. Where is sink? Where to in Ukrainian is kudi. Kudi. Let's see uh, the examples with that. Kudeti. Kudeti. Literally, it means, where are you going to? It's like shorted version. Where are you going to? Kudete. Let's see the another example with this phrase. Kudevin. Where is he going to? Kudevin. Kudi vona. Kudi vona. Where is she going to? Also, let's expand uh, this type of phrase. There is a word, ide, ide means is going on foot. Ide, uh, it is used for the pronouns like he, she, it, and for the third person. Let's see the examples. Kudi vona ide, kudi vona ide. Where is she going to? Where is she going to? Kudi vin ide. Kudi vin ide. Where is he going to? Where is he going to? Vin vide. That's another example. Vide means actually uh, the future tense of the word uh, go out. Uh, for the personal pronouns like he, she, and it. And for the third person, vin Vide means he will go out. Vin vide, he will go out. Let's see the negative form of it. Vin ne vide, vin ne vide, he will not go out. Vona ne vide, vona ne vide, she will not go out. Now, uh, almost the last section of it. Uh, well, uh, the word, the verb to know in Ukrainian, it's znate, znate. Now, the imperative form of the of this verb is znai. Znai means literally know, but generally it means be aware, be aware of something. Znai. Now, uh, the past form of it for the masculine gender in the singular. Uh, znav, znav means knew. So as a, an example, you can see here it's he knew vin znav, vin znav, vin znav tse. He knew this, vin znav tse. Uh, also, you may see ti znav tse, ti znav tse. You knew this. Also, a question, D didn't you know this? Ti ne znav tse? Ти не знавце. Ти не знавце. 
in the last section of it. Uh, we have a verb to buy. In Ukrainian, it is kupiti, kupiti. So, uh, let's build up a phrase with this. Uh, read and type. Uh, he bought this. Vin kupivce. He bought this. Vin kupivce. Uh, he bought this photo. Vin kupivce foto. Vin kupivce foto. Now, the last phrase of here. He did not buy this. Vin ne kupiv ce. Vin ne kupiv ce. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. Uh, actually, to direct message on Instagram, learn Ukrainian with Roman, or to my Gmail account, or like leave a comment below the video. Um, see you soon.